Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Ya Rasulullah Amri Minkum and reminder for myself always on Abdul Ajeezu, Da'ifu, Miskeen, Zalim, Jahad, and but for the grace of Allah and that we are still in existence. InshaAllah, reminder for myself that the realities of the heavens and what they reflect upon earth, an important understanding of blockchain technologies and the golden chain technologies. <laughs> that is interesting that for the power plants because of qudra and power that when mankind is on a central system trying to learn how to move towards a blockchain syndrome system. A centralized system for power means you build a power plant one and via all the wires it reaches to an entire community, 10,000 homes. With centralized power anything happens to this one plant these 10,000 homes are knocked out. So you can see the danger of centralizing something because that one just sit there all you have to do is take that one out and all those go down. Blockchain that this its inspiration came to this Mr. Musk <laughs> that why have one plant have every house with solar panels in an area and this technology is only as good as your battery knowledge. Means that when they reach to a level of their technology in which their battery capability, the ability to take the energy and store it reaches to the correct level, now this can be done. So went to 10,000 homes and said, why don't we put cellular dishes on your home and you become like a micro power plant. The cellular dishes, the solar dishes on your roof and with a sophisticated battery system you begin to store the energy. Use what you have to use for free, your excess energy will be sold into our system. And this system would combine all these homes in this area. So imagine now 10,000 homes with solar panels and each of them with this battery and they're now transferring energy. One they use the energy f for free other than the cost of what the installation and their excess energy they sell it back to the blockchain, to the network of homes that are all connected, decentralizing their understanding. Oh, this is the knowledge of awliya and why awliyaullah come into our life and begin to teach that when you do your muraqabah and you do your spiritual practices and you understand the madad, your heart is being perfected and your ability to retain energy will be perfected. That's why they teach you about the holy sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not about only the energy that you make but it's about not losing it. If all day long you do good deeds and by night you do bad deeds and you have no cover, you have no, no protection, you will have lost all the energy that you made. What kind of power plant would that be? It would be bankrupt every night. But whatever you produce you already lost it all. So your cellular ability, your ability to, to, to keep it and the cells of your battery and the understanding of your qudra is that whatever you're building you have the capacity to keep it, to keep it, to keep it so that your charge becomes excess positive. Not that you go two steps forward and five steps backward, 
But you're keeping it, you're keeping it with all the sunnah, all the way, all the practices, all the wudu, the meditation, all the practices, you're building this energy one day, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, you're now excess positive. And by means of the golden chain and their teachings of the madad, you're now on a blockchain network. So the, the shaykh has every incentive to make sure the students are building themselves. For if it was just one location, one person, one shaykh, imagine then shaitan would take that shaykh out because he's like a power plant. Take him out and the whole tariqah goes dark. So Allah is not going to let that happen. So then this network of qudra is flowing through the hearts of all the students, those whom are beginners and those whom are very advanced. The amount of energy that they're producing and the knowledges within their heart are flowing on an unseen chain moving through heart to heart. As you build your energy you become excess positive on the network. You're able to take from the network and supply the network of qudra. So then imagine now the qudra of the tariqah, if everybody builds themselves, everybody builds their battery capacity that they keep it by following the sunnah. Then you have all this knowledge from heart to heart that's flowing so that when you're meditating and contemplating you're logging on on how the shaykhs log on to the hearts of the shaykhs. The whole shajara is at their disposal. All the masters of Naqshbandiyat al-Aliyah all the way to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad is their power plant. Whatever they're in need of their hearts are pulling from these energy sources and bringing like a depository of these knowledges and these qudra flowing out. And that's why I say you do the awrad, you do the practices as if now you're entering in and buying that network. You're putting the dishes means you're doing your practices. You're putting the battery, you're understanding how to keep the charge and your positive charge. Once you're on their network now this fires is flowing into the hearts of people. And in times of difficulty this becomes the line of energy, the line of, of intuition and understanding and protections. So means everything we see in this dunya. It's taken from a heavenly reality. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding of how this network is working and how to log on to it, how to produce something positive on it so that the tariqah become much more powerful. They have every incentive to make sure everybody has their network set together, that they put their, their satellite dishes up and trying to receive this qudra and that they build their capacity and they have the ability to store this energy and that's why then they come and teach, don't let shaitan pull your energy. How shaitan pulls your energy by bad characteristics, by anger, qadab and your bad character? Shaitan pulled all the energy from your heart, he made your battery immediately to go down to a zero charge. And that's why the khuluq and the character is so important because they're able to keep themselves so that shaitan doesn't steal their charge away from them. Hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Allah bless you and dress you, inshaAllah, until next week. Salam. Click the link now to subscribe.